Hi everyone, it's Ice from Moshpit again at uh, Alter Ego, this time with Cobra Lotus. Welcome. Thanks. Hey. Now we're going to start off with the last time we caught up, Hard Rock Hell, Book Cherry Tour. A lot's happened since then. Yes. You, you seem to have been all around the world twice <laughs> and back again, <coughs> in essence. Um, so how's, obviously it con seems to be constant touring for you guys. Is that, does, it, does it feel that way? Uh, yeah, it is that way, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but you know what's important? Um, I mean, the world is a huge place and we've got to uh, keep coming back and seeing all the people again and so you really can't stop touring. No. I mean, it's, it's been, it's near enough a year to the day since you played Hard Rock Hell and it, we saw you, what, three days of the movie you booked Cherry Tour and then you've just finished the European leg, I believe, with some of our friends, The More I See. Yeah. They were on, on tour supporting you guys. Um, and now you're back in the UK. How does it feel to be back in the UK? Good. It's been great. great. The weather is all too familiar. <laughs> yeah, it's the weather and the, the tabs. <laughs> so you've had the new album? What's that? The album's been out for... Um, which album are you referring which, to? Well, so the last time we saw you with, the, with the Hard Rock Kelly Heart, you you had just gone through the so 50 Shades of Grey, 50 Shades... Oh no, 50 Shades of Evil. Well, that's the one. <laughs> I've, been, I've been stressing out to get here, so I do apologise. Don't worry about and it. And that was that, and obviously since then, you've got the new album. Uh, that is the only album we're still it's, touring. It's, all right, yeah. yeah. So working on the new album. So I hear bits and pieces of different things going on all the time. So. Yeah. So are you still writing, got some plans for a new album? We just uh, actually finished recording it. Like a That'll probably be why ago. I've been hearing things and yeah. I'm trying to wrap my brains on camera thinking I'm an idiot. What, <laughs> no, no. what was it? It's okay. Right, so you just finished recording, is that before you came on tour? Pretty yeah, much, right yeah. before. Like a, we finished like a week and a half, I think, before we had to fly out over here. Yeah. So we spent like two months cooped up in um, Group Master Studios in Chicago with Johnny K. And, uh, so it's done. So it's just been, is it just been mastered and mixed down now, or is it? That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. yeah. In the process. I think what's confusing you is that we're we've been playing a new track off the album coming out in the new year. Right. And yeah. so uh, it's starting to circulate the videos from I think this because, tour. Because you've been around Europe, or it seems to be around Europe before you come to us. Every time we're getting feedback, and especially with Last Mercy, it's always about new material. So mm, we're kind okay, of okay. Is the album out? I've not got it yet. I <laughs> waited for my copy. Just, but obviously that's why. So is, is the day pen, penciled in next year for, for release? No, or there's not still, a still early days. specific date, but uh, it will be early in the new year. So probably um, late January, early February. For thinking, but we're not going to hold you to that one. Yeah, well, there's no reason why it won't though, because the album's wrapped this time. There's no, uh, you know, not a lot of like tweaking other than mixing. Right. So it's coming out in the early New Year, right. definitely. So you've already said, with the confusion from my perspective, is was the one track is just one the track you're currently playing on the on the, uh, the tour. Yeah, just the one for now. And all the old classics that we're all used to uh, hearing. D dare I say the uh, the infamous cover? Workman still in there? Uh, no covers, oh, actually. No, no. <laughs> so what? Obviously, people that yeah. might not have seen your Hard Rock Hell on on the, on the previous tour. Um, what can they expect if they came to see Coburn Lotus live? Because it's easy for me to say. I've seen you quite a few times. <laughs> but for people that don't know know of you, yeah. What would they, What can they expect to see? I always say um, a high energy just full on heavy metal show, you know? Um, there's the the driving riffs, the old wailing vocals, and um, a lot of energy, a lot of hair, yeah. <laughs> you know? Lots, lots of kick drums. <laughs> lots of kick. And is there a song that would epitomize Golden Lotus with the new, with the new sound, new set list? No, is actually. Is it just kind of, just go out there, get as many songs as you can? And listen to them with the new album, new material, or uh, well, any any of the material I should say, because obviously you've got the old material that we're familiar with. Obviously, you've got the new album coming out next year. You've got the one track that people will have heard. I don't, I don't think there's a, a track that you could really pinpoint as Cobra and the Lotus. The only thing I can say is there's still traditional just this metal. 
heavy metal vibe, but you can't really put in a category. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, once you finish the UK tour, on the UK uh, of the, when you, when you finish it, what's the, what's the plan? Is it like you're going to finish the rest of the European tour and sit back and get the album mastered? Is that as simple as it's going to be? I say it's simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's never as simple as that when you go on tour. I, mean, I think this is kind of like uh, the last we're going to be doing, you know, this first touring this year. We've been going like pretty hard for the past while, so after we've done this, I think we're going to take a little bit of time to uh, start rehearsing you know, new songs. Yeah, prepare for the new year. Have you been penciled in that? Are you allowed to, uh, allowed to say? Or is everything still hush hush for next year? Any festivals, anything? It's actually uh, way too soon. Um, we don't even know. It's, uh, I'd like to try and get some exclusive at some point. Oh, we don't yet have exclusive because actually... Me, yeah. me and you both. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. It's actually... Uh, it's something that a lot of things like are confirmed um, pretty close to the date. So they're, they're only like a couple months out of like right. when it actually happens. So we actually don't even... We have to be like ready to move whenever because we don't even know what's going on. <laughs> no, the diary's all been and waiting to be filled. Exactly. Yeah. Have you been around Ultimate Go as a venue? It's a very intimate, small venue. Yeah. Now, last time we saw you guys, obviously, you were playing like Newcastle Academy, quite substantial venues. Yeah. Is that the normal venues you play, the large ones? Is this kind of a unique, small venue for you guys at the moment? Or is this. No. you get to play if you don't really care what goes on. Oh, yeah. So this is a show. Uh, these are nice though. It's pros and cons, you know. The big yeah. venue, you get these really static audiences, these really nice you know, sound consoles, so you can have like, sound shows. In small rooms like this, you know, it's more in a mid show with your fans. And there's a different kind of energy entirely with that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how is it? Obviously, you guys have been to a lot. How is it on the road? Do you enjoy being on the road? I know you're playing the live shows, which is what you want to do. Sometimes, as a musician, or a musician, I should say, you know, it's difficult. It, I could never imagine myself going on the road for so long and all over the place with family and everything else. And, you know, do you find it difficult at times? Is it nice that you've got these next couple of months potentially to sit back and spend time at home or yeah, yeah I'm looking, to being I'm on looking the forward to them um. The answer to like the big answer to all your questions, I think, is yes. I mean, it can be difficult. You learn to enjoy it. You, you know, you deal with it. Is it something you guys are getting used to? Because the more and more shows you do, the more and more time in the road. Obviously, coming over to the UK, it's a lot, a lot of traveling around, different venues, different countries all the time. Yeah, I mean, the road is. Uh anything but luxurious you know it's yeah it's not it's, what you it's, imagine it's not what anyone imagines um but you do this because you you love the music and you love the you're passionate about making the music and the shows and things like that i think um you do though have to have a pretty strong passion to be out on the road because yeah it's i mean it's um there's nothing very comfortable about being on the road no, I mean, it's, I always say, if I didn't do my day, if I didn't like doing my day job, I don't want to do it. It's a bit difficult for you guys. You can't really in the middle of the tour turn around saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, this. you're committed." The nice thing is that you know, once you kind of get rolling, you have a routine. Yeah. Usually waking up around the same time, you load your stuff, you know, you do your sound check, you know, you have a little bit of time after that to eat some food and kind of relax, warm up, do whatever you need, and then. You know, tear down, go to sleep, and do it again, kind of thing. Same so, old, same old. Just the time, you yeah. know, the time ends up flying by once yeah. you get into it. You know, you're done before you know it, and then life goes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so obviously, what we And it's a year later. Yeah. Well, this is it. Cause from our perspective, as, <coughs> as the press, we only see you the one time you come across. So, from last year, it's, it's you know, years past. But for you guys, it's always there. We might not see you, we might hear of you for a while, but you're always there somewhere. Totally. On. And I think it's 
fans always go on about, oh, why is such a band not coming back to see us? And this, that, the other kind of like, well, hang on, the world is that big place. Yeah. yeah you've obviously got places totally. where you want to go to tour. There's places where you've been to tour and you might want to just venture out and <coughs> see them. But how, how many places can you fit in a year? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's it, you know. And um, we do come. We we do want to come back to every little bit, but like you said, like here we are a year later, and it took a year to get back yeah. here. Yeah. I think like the uh, the traditional like world tour cycle when you get on that like level of things is about eighteen months long. You know, from when you release and you start playing shows, you do all your territories and then you go back. You know, and yeah. It's kind of. You know, it literally takes like a year and a half to really like drill it everywhere. Once. <laughs> <laughs> with obviously with the, with the amount of time you, you guys have done and obviously the places you've been, how difficult was it to get the new material for the for the upcoming album? Was it something that just seemed to fit oh. in and just constantly writing? Is it something where you find a uh, sound check and you just have an idea you want to try something new? Or is it, is it the, that time away where you're able to sit down and do the writing? Or is it, we weren't given so much time, but it was kind of, I don't know, I can't uh, speak for him, but for me it's all of the above. There was writing in the studio, there was writing previously, where, where there was writing in the gas, and there is, yeah, exactly. I would say the exact same thing, all of the above. Write whatever you can, whenever you have ideas. Yeah. It's like anything, it's when you're on the road, whenever you get a moment, you get an idea, yeah. you're trying to record it, you're trying to write down a lyric, you're trying to do yeah. it. Yeah, and you know, like, and then when you get that moment. Going into the studio, I think we had enough material to make an entire album, you know, worth of songs, but you know, we also wrote more while we were there as well. And you just pick what's the best of you know. Yeah. Well, it's a short, sweet interview because I was very late because of the traffic. So, thank you guys very much. Uh, it's thank great you for to actually see us. you uh, get on stage.